How are you? Vince Rowland from Burn Stainless and another episode of Vincent Shorts. So we're here in our uh, purpose-built laser welding room. We had to build a couple of these rooms in order to maintain safety in, in the shop because these laser beams can travel a long distance and they can do I believe they can do damage to somebody's eye at like 300 yards you know from it so we had to be very very careful and I think on that first video that we did you may have noticed I was just in a standard uh, welding enclosure with some curtains which was uh, we just had to be very very careful at the beginning until we were able to get these rooms built but um, these are just uh, they're drywall rooms we put an aluminum uh, backing here on the on this one side just to uh, keep it clean and um, so, but today what we're going to do is we're going to show you a comparison between TIG welding and laser welding on collectors. And we've got these uh, two into one collectors that we've uh, prepared for this project. And uh, these have been already cut, laid out, fit, and tacked. And we're going to have our uh, welder, Maddie, who you've uh, seen uh, in previous episodes do the welding and again she's going to do one at her TIG station with the Miller TIG welder and then um, number two you're going to see her using our IPG welder and we're just going to see how fast she can do both and then we'll take a look at the two welds kind of compare what they what they look like and talk a little bit about the settings on the machine. So what I'd like to do next is bring our shop foreman Adam in and I'd like him to go over some of the uh, settings on the IPG laser. So this is our IPG machine that we use to weld uh, Inconel, um, stainless and all the different grades and we do um, can do mild steel too and aluminum. So these are custom settings for this weld right here. And we'll set you know a power setting of like 320 watts to get pretty good penetration, um, not too much heat soak less distortion and a nice strong weld bead. <clears throat> and then, you know, as we go through here, we're changing all these settings here. We have a wobble frequency, which basically takes this laser beam and go really fast or get really slow. And that changes the shape of the weld. And then there's the wobble length, which is the width of the weld bead. And then just basic stuff here. We have our welder status, which it's good it's a green gas is okay so that means it's ready to run because if there's no gas the machine will not run and that's pretty much it and you know once we develop these settings we save them and we keep them in the machine it's much easier to use this being hooked up to the internet versus the front panel of this if you see what this is it's just a, a bunch of numbers right and you got to understand you got to know which buttons to hold down and it's a code 
that you have to understand to operate this machine, but with this being hooked up to the internet makes it a million times easier. So that's it. That's all I got. <laughs>